Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to be sharing what I received from Jesse James for my Design Ambassador package. Um, every month I receive some fun goodies to play with and then I come back and share what I have made with them. Um, so this month I actually received uh, four different items and it doesn't say who it was packaged by. But um, I got a flyaway butterfly bead set, a glass bead strand in sage green, caged crystal beads in silver, there's two of them, and the dress it up button pack in sweet butterflies. So here are the dress it up buttons. They are these really pretty pink and purple. Um, let me go ahead and open these up real quick. <clears throat> There are some of the larger butterflies with these big, beautiful wings. And there is the pink with like purple um, pattern. And then here is some that's reversed, the purple with pink pattern. And then you get little teeny tiny, <coughs> my throat is going out, <laughs> little teeny tiny ones. And this one is the pink with purple. And then you get some purple with the pink coloring in it. So, that is the first item. Um, here are those teeny tiny little, I'm assuming it's what the, uh, yes, flyaway butterfly bead set is, since it's the other butterfly. And there, I have pieces of, like, glass shell pearl beads on my <laughs> table because I was working with those. Okay, here's those tiny little butterflies. They are so itty bitty. They remind me of like the hematite. I have a lot of hematite beads in my collection from a long time ago. I used to have a bunch of that and ran across the container of all that. Um, but that's just a little bit what this reminds me of. But it just looks like it's some silver, like metal butterflies. So I've got a few ideas. I'm not sure exactly what I'll do with these because they're so tiny, but I can't wait to see um, what I can come up with that. And then here are the caged beads, um, crystal caged, um, caged crystal beads. Yes. And as you can see, there is this large crystal on the inside and it just moves around, just kind of free floating in there. And, um, like you can take a jump ring and just hang it from here or hang the ear wire from the top, hang a pretty tassel on the bottom. Um, they're really quick and easy projects that you can make with these um, caged beads. And then of course you can also use them as connectors for like a necklace project. Like you could do part of the necklace, maybe the chain coming out from one side and then have like a beaded section um, kind of crimped onto the bottom end and just have these as like little connector pieces on a necklace to connect, you know, two different sections of a necklace together. So all kinds of ideas for using those caged beads. And then for my bead strand, this is um, sage green. I have never worked with this. I haven't purchased it or received it in any of my previous packages. And it's very pretty. It's a um, very light green. And I love this cube bead here. This glass cube it has like the sage green on one side and then it's almost like clear or frosted on the other three sides. Then you have these nice like kind of long, um, almost oval looking, um, really long elongated beads. There are three of those. Like this would make a gorgeous necklace just by itself. <clears throat> just keep it like just restring it onto some beading, like bead wire and then just attach chain to the end of it. You have this gorgeous necklace, or you can make it into a bracelet. Um, you might have to add just a little bit, or by the time you add a clasp, because these are usually about seven inches long. Yes, from the end of this first bead to the end of this matching bead here on the end is exactly seven inches. And all you would need to do would be like add some kind of clasp, or if you wanted to do an elastic, um, bracelet. You don't have to add anything to it. You already have your seven inches if that's the size bracelet that you wear, which I do. I wear usually between seven and seven and a half. I mean, there's all kinds of possibilities for using a bead strand from Jesse James. Let me go ahead and move these all back out here. These are what I received to play with this month. I'm excited to get started working on them. 
and I will be back hopefully soon with a video showing my first project and might even do like a tutorial just for show how to do really quick earrings with these bead cages or if or maybe I might possibly decide to do a, a necklace with those but hopefully I can do some kind of little tutorial possibly and also with the this bead strand um, so thank you everyone for stopping by. Hope you all have been having a great weekend and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.